so the second half of this project, before I moved back to the Bronx, I was living on the U.S.-Mexican border for two years. So I was in Tucson for a year and a half. And then once the administration announced the zero tolerance family separation policy, I moved to El Paso for about four months. And then from there, I left the border and I came here to the Bronx. In a lot of ways, I think different parts of the, the US is dealing with immigration in like really similar ways and really different ways. No doubt on the southern border, it's, it's more intense in a lot of ways. For example, these border patrol checkpoints are everywhere. So if you're driving on a freeway and it's super common just to see a border patrol checkpoint set up where every single car that's going by has to unroll their window and the agent will ask you, are you or the passengers in the car all US citizens and if you aren't then I've seen this happen from people clients telling me stories then people either behind or in back of me in line then you know you have to show all the documents and you know prove exactly what your status is in that moment the intensity of just the policies that are going down on the southern border I think with family separation uh, that was um, of stating the obvious, but of course, the most traumatic thing for the, the families who are going through that themselves and also for the advocates who are down there to, to really witness and bear witness to that, uh, that trauma and absorb that secondhand. Um, but yeah, no doubt on the border, there are a lot of advocates who are throwing down right now and the issues are, I would say, even more heightened down there because of all the different policies that are going down there.